Well hi guys, this is a, another quick video of bumping the Miller 5 pin Euro cylinder lock and it's my second video on this particular lock using a homemade bump key um, which works absolutely great I've purchased universal 5 and 6 pin bump keys from the internet and this and another bump key that I made for a 6 pin Euro era cylinder lock work fantastic um, actually better than the keys I purchased that's a bit tight fitting because it's an old lock um, so basically you pop the key in pull it out and the reason for this video is because this is a great way I've not been used to using the grommets and space and things we've been new to bumping um, but sort of pick and manipulate locks for security reasons and many of my videos are to actually open members of public eyes regarding some locks they may have and a bit of sort of advice for them because bumping unfortunately in the UK and abroad is used in a lot of burglaries as stated again in my other videos so again bumping put the key all the way in you can see that's not a working key uh, reason being as well is because this lock was given to me from a kind gentleman on the internet with no key so let's draw it out a tad like you do so this method you can hit once and it might work you can hit once and wrap again like a woodpecker um, which is what it sounds like a lot of the times I like that saying so let's give that a go slight tension and tap that's not done it there let's give that another go Oh, that did it first time on that one. As you can see, it's locked up again. We'll give that one more go using that method of bumping. As you can see, that's drawn part of the way out. Slight tension again. And a wrap. The woodpecker effect has opened the lock. Turn it all the way around. Now if you notice from the next part of the video, I'm going to use one of these sort of single grommets. I'm not sure how you want to sort of word this particular bit of kit. But it goes over the key. And this will actually stop me having to draw the key out of the keyway each time if the bump doesn't go successfully on the first attempt. I can keep um, wrapping at it. Uh, but this can actually go in one bump, or if not, it can go in a couple of small taps. Again, that's not working. Again, like I say, this is just to try and sort of let the general public know that some locks on the house may not you know I'm not trying to frighten anybody regarding my videos but just to let you think that you know there could be other ways of securing your premises a lot of UPVC doors or 90% of modern day ones do have anti-bump locks fitted standard um, so guys you know you're safe there um, you can also get sprays that go inside the locks to stop bumping Let's give that a go with the grommeting. Again, slight tension. Literally one tap. I say this is a homemade bump key. I've not been bumping long, as I've said before. Um, but as an amateur at bumping locks, I'm not doing too bad. So I've not pulled that out. I'm just showing you that it's not a working key. Slight tension on there again. Two taps. And if you listened to the first part of me bumping this particular lock, it was the woodpecker effect. 
we'll give that one more go as you can see that's locked and this is using what they call a grommet a slight tension three taps but again um, like I said before unfortunately a lot of burglaries are undertaken using this method and if you were walking down the street and saw somebody going up to a front door you wouldn't think twice if they could get in that quickly into a door so that's with the grommets you've seen it sort of bumped normally so I do hope that has opened a few people's eyes regarding it like I say I do this for security reasons um, I'm into manipulating locks for the right reasons unfortunately there are people out there that do it for the wrong reasons um, so again hope that's opened your eyes and for us guys out there that do this for a legitimate reason happy picking thanks for watching and please keep it legal